my name is Michaela here at Shaker Skin, and today I'm here with Riley, one of our new servers and bartenders, and we're going to walk you guys through an espresso martini. So first we're going to start by getting that espresso ready. We grind it and brew it fresh to order here, so we're going to go over to the grinder. Get those fresh brown things in there. You're going to take this and apply 30 pounds of even pressure to create that puck. Then you're going to go over to the espresso machine. And for this, we're going to do a single shot of espresso, so just over our outside right there. And there you have it, the fresh brewed espresso, so we'll use that in this recipe. Espresso martinis have been gaining popularity yet again, um, mainly among women, but everyone can enjoy them. So we're going to start by rimming our glass with some fresh espresso shavings as well. So I simply dip the edge of the glass in a little bit of simple syrup and then roll it in the grounds. Tap off the excess to rim the glass like so. Then we're going to put two ounces of Wheatley Vodka in there. This is from Buffalo Trace Distillery, it's one of my favorites. And then we're going to go in with about a half an ounce of our Kahlua coffee liqueur. Any coffee liqueur you have will work just fine. About half an ounce of simple syrup. that ounce of espresso we just brewed. And I like to add just a little dash of cream in there as well. It really gives it the foam and froth once you shake it. Add that ice to your shaker. If you don't have espresso, you can use cold brew, you can use any sort of coffee you have on hand. Put that cup on there and give it a good shake. And we'll strain it into the glass. And it should have a nice little bit of froth on the top there. You'll see it start to form. Some people top it with coffee beans. I like to do just some flex of that espresso shavings right on top. And there you have it, an espresso martini. Cheers.